And America's economy front and center, the GOP campaign trail today. Rudy Giuliani, Fred Thompson already making their pitch. In less than 15 minutes, Mitt Romney will make his as well. And there is no mistaking that uh, this is a crowd you do not want to offend. The leader of that crowd is with us now, Pat Toomey. He is head of the Club for Growth. Pat, you, now you've heard from Mayor Giuliani, Senator Thompson. Who impressed you more? I got to tell you, the thing that's most impressive and that I'm most happy about is that uh, all of the leading candidates are totally singing off our song sheet. I mean, they get the leading the Republican economy, candidates, the, the three leading Republican candidates. That's right. right. They want to make the Bush tax cuts permanent. They, they all observe that our corporate tax rate is uncompetitive. It's too high. They have different ideas, but meaningful ideas about getting spending under control. They're all for free trade. They understand that we've got to fight back this protectionist impulse. So these guys know what it takes to grow the economy, and I'm, I'm really very pleased that they're uh, leading with such an aggressive pro-growth message. All right. Um, the only guy who has signed on to a no-tax hike pledge, though, is uh, Mitt Romney. That's and right. Yet you're yeah. kind of lukewarm on him, or your organization is. Why? You know, I wouldn't say that. You know, I think I think Mitt Romney's got a good story to tell. He's got a good record in Massachusetts, and he's got great positions on the campaign trail. I think some people have drawn that inference because we've been particularly praising the success that Rudy Giuliani had in New York because he was successful in cutting taxes repeatedly in a well, very so, difficult so was, environment. So was Governor Romney. I, it makes me wonder, Pat, whether you're kind of greasing the skids for. No, Giuliani no, endorsement. Neil, let me, no, we're not. We haven't made uh, a decision about whether we'll even make an endorsement. And listen, I, I not, think you might that not make one. We might not make an endorsement in this situation. If we've got three leading Republican candidates who are all with us on taxes, spending, trade, and deregulation, the big issues that drive the economy, then we probably wouldn't uh, try to make a distinction between them if they're all, all right. With so, us on it, these but issues. it would be a given, would it not, Pat, that you'd be for the Republican nominee, whoever he is. Uh, given the field as it is and how anti-growth uh, all the Democrats are, yeah, that's a pretty safe assumption. All right. But, you know, Pat, you're a very shrewd, you know, political reader of the tea leaves, and you know that people will kind of say anything to a group. It's just like, you know, I'll walk into my doctor's office and say, oh, yeah, I'm, you know, not eating the sweets and all that stuff. And, right, right. And I pick right, up, a, you know, right. a donut on the way out. So I, I'm just wondering whether you can believe guys who, who have some spending blemishes in their past. And, and, and in, in the case of Mayor Giuliani, he takes credit for tax cuts that were passed along by Governor Pataki that he challenged at the time. Now, yeah. I'm not saying that makes him a big spender. I'm just saying that he, too, uh, kind of plays with the data, does he not? Uh, I would argue that every single one of the leading Republican candidates is imperfect from a pro-growth, limited government, lower taxes. Who's the point most of view. perfect? Uh, you know, I, I, I'm not, I don't know that you can say. I would have to say. You sound that like I you're think, for Giuliani. I, you sound I like think, you're for Giuliani. I, let me tell you. You sound like you, a Giuliani Neil, guy. Rudy Giuliani accomplished more cutting taxes than anybody else in a very difficult environment. Uh, I think that, you know, I think we've got to give him credit for that difficult environment in which he did that. But right now, these guys all understand that we need to keep taxes low, in fact, go after excessively high corporate taxes and others. They're all free traders. They're all on the right page. So you're giving up right on now. this pledge thing. If only one of the guys is going to give you the no you tax, know, like you I'd, said, ah, that's enough like of it. I'd like to see them all take right. that pledge, but I think if you look at their records, none of these guys. Rudy Giuliani said something today which was new, and I think is important, and he the said social security unequivocally, thing, right? no tax increase as part of Social Security reform. That was very good to hear. He well, also I said the same about, accounts. I tell you, I said the same about croissants, Pat, but I'm telling you, <laughs> we got to, there's a difference between saying something and doing yeah, There we'll is, see. absolutely right. right. I, 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 think, I think there's a pretty good record to back it up, but again, I'm impressed with Fred Thompson and Mitt Romney, too. Ah, you're covering your bets. All right, Pat, thank Thank you very, very much. Thanks Pat Toomey, the Club for Growth president. Very, very interesting. <laughs>